At Rosy Creek, the growing popularity of small-scale farming can be seen in the applications they get for interns each year. They come from all, all over the country and there's we, we take applications all, all winter long and had about 30 applicants for, for three positions this winter. Lindsay Thomas was writing her thesis for her undergrad when she saw the posting for Rosy Creek Farm. She recently graduated from Kenyon College in Ohio. After working here, she says eventually she'd like to have her own farm. These aspirations aren't something her friends in Manhattan, where she's from, understand. I really just want to send one of my friends one of the Romanesco. It's this, it's this form of cauliflower in which the tendrils grow in fractal spirals. It looks like it's from another planet. And so I just want to put one in a box and mail it to one of my friends and just so they could open it and be like, oh, I get it. Most food consumed in the interior comes from outside. By Emmer's estimates, he produces enough vegetables for about 250 families for the summer. If you consider the handful of other small farms in the area, it's still a far cry from providing food security. There's room for, you know, 50 or even 100 farms our size in the area. It wouldn't take that much space, and if we had that, uh, that much, we can really feed Fairbanks. Alaska's short growing season is another challenge. Look at the changes the farm has undergone since March. Emmer says if you want to focus on local food, storage is key. Agriculture in Alaska is incredibly seasonal, so I think the, I think the trick is to have, um, for food security, um, growing enough storage crops and having enough food storage is, is critical. For News 13, I'm Lacey Grossfold.